I'll, I'll, I'll take the next one. Um, let's start this one with Terry. Um, obviously, the economics are a major component of the decision to go independent, but it's at the cost of leaving deferred comp on the table and also the opportunity cost of not getting a 300% recruitment deal from another wirehouse or from a W-2 model. So for you, how did you reconcile the economic decision? Yeah, especially, you know, 26 years into business when I made the decision, um, you know, uh, we get paid very well, right? Um, and, and, and that's great. And for some people, you know, that's that be a tough hurdle to get over. It, I did the rough math, but I don't really even want to look back and do the math because I didn't do it for that, honestly. Um, uh, I, I did it because I wanted to see where I could take this. Um, where we could grow this to. And I'm going to be fine either way economically, right? I'm having a lot more fun now, some days better than others. But um, it, it, the other thing is, is the opportunity that we're all providing for our team and a growing team on that. And that's pretty cool. You know, you don't have that opportunity in a, in a big global bank. You really can't say, hey, I want to craft opportunity. I want to move this person here. I want to call them this. Um, I want to compensate them this way. So the, the ability to really uh, develop and lift up kind of the next generation is, um, I underestimated the, the thrill of that um, in this role. So um, I don't know that I answered your question, but it, it um, for me anyway, it wasn't necessarily, um, I wasn't necessarily focused on, on that. Yeah, it was more focused on what the future can bring and the vision for what you wanted to create. For you, that was yeah, yeah that was exactly. an investment worth making. How about um, how about for you, Lori? I know part of the business model at Raymond James Financial Services um, is they do provide um, some upfront capital, um, not nearly as much as you can get from um, from a W two firm. Um, but same question for you: How did you reconcile yeah. the economics of all this? Yeah, I mean, I would say the the same thing. So you should never make this change for money. You should be making it for so many other reasons. That being said, if you do your job well, it will come out well for you economically as well as your clients. I did get a modest amount of money up front. I also never put any of my own money in deferred comp. So I wasn't leaving as much on the table as a lot of people. Um, after Citigroup went to a buck, that never really appealed to me. 